Hello, my dears. A uh, few weeks ago, I did steampunk junk journal with steampunk cover, and I've been asked to do tutorial how I did this cover of that book. Uh, so I decided to do the tutorial, but because now I'm working on a box, uh, I will working on this box, and you just try to imagine that this is book. This is your cover of book, and then uh, do same what I will do here on your book cover. I hope <laughs> you will understand what I'm doing. I already prepared that top with my double side tape everywhere when I need to stick something. And, uh, this is box from Pralines, which has a window. So under this window, I I made. Uh, small arrangement, <laughs> small mixed media, <laughs> and now I'm going to cover this uh, with piece of papers with my scraps of dice. I'm gonna show you what I have to prepare here. This, this is what I have prepared. Those are uh, rest of my dice. Those pieces are from this die it's this die and here you can see it's those pieces here is large one and in that small and those pieces are from I think it's spellbinders <sighs> let me see yeah spellbinders it's this die cut and those curl pieces are somewhere here that birds and I think it's somewhere yeah here is that small one piece it's like scrap from your dice and you know that small small die I'm sorry oops it's somewhere there, somewhere somewhere oops I can't find it now but somewhere here yeah here it's that bigger oops la. bigger piece so it's this one uh, here are some clocks, uh, some gears, sorry, some gears, and this one are piece of chipboard from, uh, I purchased in a sacrafter shop, uh, like chipboard uh, brick wall, so I need that frame around, and this is rest of that chipboard, and here those papers, are some some scraps, Maybe you will see the texture on it. Here, this one. Most of them are scraps from my other projects. Or I I did some texture on them. This is... Oops, la, we, we didn't start yet. Stop. <laughs> this is from my... Um, trimmer. Paper trimmer. Maybe you see the texture. <laughs> I just played with paper. And most of them are just plain papers, just plain cardboard. It's different shape, different size. You can use any. And here, from my, uh, how you, you call it that, you know, office they are using for those holes. I don't remember the name of that machine. So, this one. And now um, I will try to show you how I did that cover it's it's not hard work <laughs> it's <laughs> it's nothing so much hard to do it it's just you have to use your your imagination I'm going to took out those last pieces so all the rest around this um, frame are covered with double-sided tape just try imagine that this is your cover of book. <sighs> I hope hopefully we will do it. <laughs> so you can start with any paper you want. Any you want. Just try to lay them down. I'm gonna start here. Okay. Here. I'm gonna, oops, I'm out of zoom. Just lay down your papers. 
any way you want. Okay, here we will need to cook down a little bit. Maybe like this. So I'm gonna try. Yes, it's like this. Because after you will glue all those pieces which you have on your cover, you will cover all this with napkin. I'm not sure how I will do it here. <laughs> I still didn't <laughs> didn't find how I will do it. Here I've got a piece of double side tape, so I just move it from that frame. Come on. It can be here because on the top I'm gonna glue that napkin. So you will make layers and layers of your papers it's how you want just glue them down how you want uh, mm, 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 mm. here okay and it's totally up to you like this And here, I'm gonna do this one, and when you will cover all those pieces with napkin, it will show up those uh, edges. And if you want some, um, oops, some mm, better, better effect you just glue you need just glue more paper over those papers you've got already glued down so if I will want to have some better result some more dimensional result I will ju just glue some other paper over it and it make like uh, steps I hope you understand what I'm saying I'm horrible with the language I know <laughs> sorry for that Okay, I'm going to glue something. Hmm, maybe here. Anyhow you want, anywhere you want. It's totally up to you. Because that final, final result, you will see. You will see when you will. No, not this one. This one looks better. When you will see when you will cover this with uh, with colors and with the napkin. Sorry, most of the time I'm out of zoom. Oops. Mm -hmm. I think here I've got some rest. Oops, no. I've got bigger scissors, don't worry, I've got bigger scissors, but <laughs> I just grabbed those, <laughs> they're most bigger, I think I couldn't choose a better one. <laughs> so you will just glue down your papers any way you want.
So, <coughs> now we've got few layers. Uh, you can use as much as you want. Uh, you can put as much some dots everywhere you want. You can stick as much those die cuts anywhere you want. I think I'm finished right now because uh, probably I will put on the top few uh, gold gears when I will finish those coloring and the, the napkin. So I'm finished now. As you see, it's just layering papers. Some plain, some dimension, uh, some... Oh my god. With <laughs> some pattern. Oh my god. Some embossed papers. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh my god, sorry for my English. So for now we are we are finished. We will continue when the glue will dry. So see you in a bit. Bye. back <laughs> so we finished that cover with uh, sticking stick lay down those papers and make layers I already used uh, brown acrylic color this one and also this crimson 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 acrylic uh, acrylic color this one I mix them together I think it was three, two, one. You know, uh, I mean, size. <laughs> three pieces of this paint uh, mixed together with one piece of this paint. <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean. <laughs> and made make mix, and it's made these beautiful colors. This one. And here on those edges and on the, that cover, I use Distress, um, Distress Ink, this uh, black suit from Tim Holtz. And also I used, uh, 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 just let me to find it, this brushed, brushed corduroy, oh, I can't say it, brushed corduroy, this one, those two inks. I used to just make those colors a little bit better to me. So here you can see that. And here I used my fix marker, gold marker. It's metallic marker, this one. I purchased those, I think, in Lidl last year. And I covered all those edges as well. I didn't make that bottom yet. And I think I'm gonna use just some strong cardboard because it's really weak. So I covered all those edges as well. First I painted with gesso, with this gesso, with this acrylic, white acrylic gesso. And then I, paint, I painted with those colors. And when it was dry, I just used those two distress inks. And here you can see my first layer <laughs> of napkin. I just wanted to try it. <laughs> Those napkins I purchased in Poundland. They are beautiful, innit? <laughs> I wish to have them. <laughs> so I used one of those here. You can see that. And now I will try to show you um, one finishing when I'm doing cover of that book. So just still try to Try to, um, oh my gosh, imagine, try to imagine that this is book. Sorry for my English. Oh, I'm still horrible. You know, as much as I'm trying to, le to read books and I'm listening, oh, I got last year, no, this year, but in the first half of this year, I got beautiful gift from my beautiful friend from Kay. She knows that I love Harry Potter and she sent me DVDs with audiobooks. So I'm listening it a lot because I've got books, but I didn't 
hear that in English language. I've got English books, but you know, when you are a self student, most of the time you're making uh, making mistakes because uh, you are trying to <laughs> pronounce words totally different way than they supposed to be. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny. <laughs> so now we're gonna make layers of those napkins. I'm gonna use this napkin. Uh, I purchased them, pack of those napkins I purchased on eBay. This pack, they are luncheon napkins. Can you see that? In gold color. See? Gold. In gold color, color was 50 in that pack. And I think it was for two pounds, if I remember right. So I'm going, uh, I'm going to show you. Hopefully, this window, it's confusing me. Okay, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I will be successful, so if it will fail, just please <laughs> forbidden to me. <laughs> Excuse my mistakes. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, I've got mess around me. Okay, here I make, make mix in my empty doors from coffee. This is brilliant coffee amazing coffee so I made mix uh, water with just proper PVA glue half and half you know it's I found it the best way for uh, using napkins glued na napkins hopefully you understand me. I'm sorry for my English so you just put your glue on your mm -hmm. on, on on that surface you want to glue napkins. Just put the glue, and I'm always using some soft brush because I need that napkin tap into that into that surface. Poof, poof, and someone. Some people try to make it um, nice and clear, and I don't care if it will be there. Some something like this, you know, see that? If it will bound it together and make some. Uh, oh my God! Next time I have to take a vocabulary book, some translator book because I'm losing words. I I don't remember all words. You know, if your napkin <laughs> will make some. Some nonsense. <laughs> well, but how you don't expect it, just ignore it. <laughs> it's proper vintage, it's proper steampunk. <laughs> just just pretend, oh, it's supposed to be like this. <laughs> I'm always doing it. You know. <laughs> Tap it inside. To all edges, to all holes. Try to tap it inside. Ignore those edges because we will put them down later when it will be glued. I'm not sure how I will do it around that window. Still, I'm not sure. I will see when that napkin will dry. <laughs> then now you can see how I am how I am working, how I am crafting. Most of the time. It's just what, um, what, 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 what <laughs> situations comes up. What situations with, with, will comes up with. <laughs> I'm sorry for my English. <laughs> now I've been wake up two o'clock morning. And now is, now is quarter to eleven. Still morning, <laughs> and I'm feeling tired. <laughs> it's horrible. I know it's just excuse. <laughs> you know. So he glued everything. Nope. Hey, hey. Here is something. Okay, okay. My own edges. And if you will, like I did now. Here, see. I rolled. I made a hole in my napkin. Let's take it off. Be okay with that. 
Just pretend, oh, it's supposed to be like this. Because when it will dry, we can still do something with that. We can glue on that space some gears. Or we can color it again with acrylic paint. Or we can put their stamp and emboss it. You know, always you can do something with that. This crafting, it's amazing. I promise, I love this crafting. Because even you make mistakes, you always have a chance to repair it somehow. Just don't be afraid. See, here another space where that napkin was moved. Just move it, tap it back if you want. If not, just leave it there. And we will glue something on the top. Yay, oh, my queen. Lovely queen. Hey, hey, sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't meant to tap here. Okay. Now I will let it dry. Then I will see. Then I will see. And you will see as well. So, see you later. Bye. <laughs> Come back. So all napkins was totally dry. As you can see, I did that, those edges as well. I already colored them. So I want to show you that top. I'm going to use four distress inks. This brushed corduroy. Cordu <laughs> you can see that here. Brushed corduroy. Wild honey. This. Uh, wild honey, mm, fried burlap, this one, and again, black suit. I have to say this, wild honey, it's working amazing on background, which has those colors. I, uh, you can't see that in, in proper color, this is a little bit shiny, but proper colors are like gray and uh, green and black and a little bit that gold <clears throat> my camera is taking wrong color but this proper uh, this wild honey it's working perfectly well if you want to do kind of <clears throat> uh, leather leather looks so uh, just use that wild honey and you can Put it everywhere you want. many many colors and here you can see piece of my napkin was just get down but I will use few decorations on this box on the top so I think I'm going to cover it with something like this and this I will see later but now we are doing this this cover so <clears throat> with colors it's all done and that finished touch, I'm going, for that finished touch, I'm going to use, ooh la la. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't find it on normal place because I move it too close to me already. <laughs> this one, I'm going to use this glossy varnish. Uh, it's going to give you uh, that glossy, glossy looks. And after that, when you will use this glossy varnish or some glue with this effect 
uh, you will see that this cover will start to look like leather. So I'm going to use it and cover with this all, all spaces, all those places. And also those colors under this top coat will you like pop up. You will see them better. I think I'm gonna speed up again. covered all this box with glossy varnish it's still wet but I think you can see that already now how beautiful leather looks it was it has stayed <laughs> I don't know how to say that but I believe you know what I want to say Oh my god, that English language is killing me. I'm sorry, I'm learning so slow. <laughs> yeah, see, this leather look. <laughs> oh my god. This is how I how I am making those steampunks um, covers on my no uh, notebooks, on my journals. And I have to still finish that inside of this box and that bottom. And definitely here I have to use some strong cardboard or chipboard. I believe I'm gonna use some chipboard because it's... I still don't know that right word. It's weak. Probably weak. Hmm. Not weak like... <laughs> like working weak, but I mean weak. <laughs> You know, it's worse for foreigners or for people who doesn't speak English that many words, many English words have a similar sound for us, for foreigners, and then we are lost <laughs> what, what we have to say. So, this is how I'm doing those steampunks, steampunks, oh sorry for my hands, steampunks covers. I hope you enjoy it and I hope that it was inspiration for you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a beautiful day and see you next time. Bye.